question number 7 rocket uh, fire or, uh, firework rocket launched vertically explodes into two pieces x and y so you launched the rocket it went here and it blasted into it explodes into two parts this is x this is y over here uh, the maximum the mass of x is higher than the of y oh, oh okay so let me call this as x this is x and this is y over here okay so mx is greater than my then three statements have been made about the pieces immediately after the explosions which of them are correct okay the kinetic energy of x is less than kinetic energy of y okay first before doing this first let us understand what's happening here what is the force acting here there is a constant force m mxg acting here also there is a constant force myg acting over here okay now at the instant when it broken okay is there a force responsible for it to break no it was nothing was responsible for it it was an internal explosion right so therefore com can be applied what do you mean by com applied momentum before before explosion what was the momentum before explosion the whole particle was at rest right so which means it was zero is equal to momentum after explosion when it exploded what will happen x would have moved like this y would have moved like this right so therefore this will be px minus py or you can say even if you do not assume this one also you can say px plus py let me assume you do not know that okay it's moving in opposite direction you do not know this so px equal to py px equal to minus py you have now since Vx equal to minus Vy, I will take this, the magnitudes of this alone, which means uh, Mx Vx is equal to My Vy we have over here, right? So, therefore, now what happens over here? So, momentum is conserved. Do we have an op option for momentum is conserved? Um, the magnitude of momentum of X is equal to the magnitude of momentum of Y. So, Y is, the second equation is correct. This, this statement is correct. Total momentum after explosion is this. No. Now, you need to look at this only. Okay. Now, what we do is... Uh, what is the kinetic energy of x? It is half m v x square, which can be written as p x square divided by 2 m x. Similarly, what is the kinetic energy of y? Half m v y square, which can be written as p y square divided by 2 m. Now, since p x equal to p y, so kinetic energy is inversely proportional to mass here, right? Generally, kinetic energy is inversely proportional to mass in this case. Okay. So, as a result of it, when m x increases, when mx is greater than my, that's what is given. Kinetic energy of x should be less than kinetic energy of y, so which is the right answer. So, kinetic energy of x is less than y, so this is also correct. So, 1 and 2 are correct, a is right. Okay.